Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash and some of the other DC TV shows. We've got a whole bunch of things to talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so in today's video we're going to be talking about some questions you guys have sent in. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while now, and I thought I would get back to it. So if you have any more questions, there's going to be a new post on the community tab so you guys can send over your topic question theory or idea and i'll be answering them sometime in the next week or so when the next sort of q a video comes out but anyway so the first question without further ado comes from michael kerland on youtube who asks will we finally see the arrowverse version of batman or is that too much to hope for so that's a good question michael because you know we've been asking this for a long time i think you know in our heads we're like oh batman's too big and everything but then you see at one point you know we had superman come on supergirl like they were at season one they were like no you know superman can't come he's too big he's in the films he's going to be in justice league and stuff like that at that time when they were talking about it and well superman did come and superman's getting his own show on the cw so obviously we can't count them out anymore and also the fact in crisis we had Ezra Miller's Flash come in and the fact that the CW shows, especially The Flash, is so relevant in the broader scope of the DC Universe, especially right now with them confirming that Ezra Miller's Flash in the DCEU films is going to call himself The Flash after Crisis and he is calling himself that after Grant's version of The Flash. So, you know, with all of these big characters and the fact that there is possibility for future crossovers, Greg Palanti has said that he wants to do that again. And Eric Wallace, the showrunner of The Flash, has said he wants Ezra back. They've talked about it. And so maybe that might happen in the future. So will we finally see a version of the Arrowverse Batman? I would say it's a possibility. I wouldn't count it out. And I think it really depends what they're doing for season two of Batwoman. I don't think he's gonna show up in season two. I think he will show up sometime later. It's more likely that it would be like a few years down the line, he will be in a crossover or something. So I would say it's not too much to hope for because we've seen big things come for our CW shows. So yeah, sometime in the next few years, maybe we'll see a proper Batman. And yeah, so let's move on. So the next question comes from Supergirl Video Clips on YouTube who asks, hi Ben, love your videos. Thank you very much. And her question, or his question, is I have a theory that Nia will have a significant role in Season 6. She is featured in the new poster. So maybe Kara won't be there for a few episodes and Nia will become the primary protector of National City. I also think we will see her descendant Nira now in this season. So I thought this was a good question and these questions came in actually a few weeks ago. So I've had time to think about some of these and I really like this question. So what happens if Nia takes over for Kara in the first few episodes because we know they're said to be coming back to filming sometime at the end of September, so that's like three weeks from now maybe when they start to return. And we are thinking currently that maybe Melissa might miss like the first few weeks or something like that, or maybe the first few days, I don't know how it's gonna go because I don't know the specific schedules of all the actors. We kinda know when the shows are coming back. But yeah, so there is a possibility that Melissa may not come back straight away due to obviously having her child and there is a possibility that her maternity leave may be a bit over the end of September as we were suspecting, but we have to wait and see. Obviously, it's all Melissa's business. She can take as long as she want, but we're talking about Nia here. So considering she got a poster and everything, like all the big characters on the other shows like Iris, got a poster as well along with the flash and so that was about a few weeks ago nearly a month ago we got those photos well those posters before we had dc fandom and so i think nia could have a significant role she does have a significant role anyway in the show so she's a main character but if Kara's not there for a few episodes i wouldn't count out the idea of there being nia as you know the primary protagonist of the show you know for like two episodes or something like that so i think that would be a very good episode idea 
like maybe a few episodes or so and will Nura now her descendant come this season you know there is a chance there is a legion storyline that jesse raff was teasing recently so she is in the legion in the future so there is a potential that this season that could happen however jesse did say it was kind of like a legion like story so i don't know how likely it is we'll see any new legion members but maybe sometime in the near future Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. This comes from Andrew Jerome on YouTube who asks, Do you believe The Flash will ever get to Supernatural season numbers? So we've talked about this over the years. You know, Supernatural is a show on the CW that is the longest running show I do believe they've ever had. So many, many, many seasons they have done. And I think there is a possibility that The Flash can do that considering the fact of how Grant Gustin views the show and how much he loves the show because they've talked about this, Grant's talked about this, there is a seven season contract for most of the CW shows so Grant is contracted till then, obviously season seven is this next season and then he could leave if he wants to but he doesn't have to leave and the reason why I think it will continue is because Grant's talked about doing like nine, ten seasons, he's even mentioned that by like his actual mouth he said I want to you know go up to nine I want to do more and more and more like I love being the flash so yeah there is a real real chance that the flash can do supernatural season numbers I think it could beat it honestly but that is really down to Grant, Candace and all of the main cast members like Danielle, Carlos like if they stick around obviously they can get rid of some of the supporting cast members and they can boost up some other people like they've done on some of the other shows, specifically Supergirl. They've lost a lot of people over the years, like Jeremy Jordan and everything like that. But new people have come in, like Jesse Raff and Nicole Maines and everything like that. So, you know, there is the possibility that the show can still go on if any of, you know, the main cast members leave. However, I think the show would not be the same without Candace and definitely Grant. So... I think it's really down to those two cast members and if they want to stop I think this show will eventually stop very soon after. So will there be like you know 13, 14, 15 seasons of The Flash? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay so let's move on to the final question this comes from Lydia Sharp. There is a few different questions that we're going to be discussing. Okay so the first one is for any future crossovers will the new Batwoman be in it and the obvious answer to this is yes because she is a part of the CW she is a part of the Arrowverse and therefore there's going to be crossovers therefore they're going to try and include all the shows all the cast members all the characters so yeah it's kind of a no-brainer of course Javisa Leslie the new Batwoman is going to be in the crossovers I reckon she's going to get a crossover pretty soon after she starts and that's due to the showrunners and some of the people like the head people at the Arrowverse offices you know the CW They've talked about, you know, there being a Battle Woman crossover this season, so could happen. Mark Pedowitz, the head of the CW, the president, has said that, you know, there were plans to do a Battle Woman crossover, so maybe if that goes ahead, then obviously there is going to be Javicia Leslie meeting some of our other cast members and characters on the other shows as Ryan Wilder. Okay, so the next question, again from Lydia, is this. Also, I would love for Jeremy Jordan to come back on Supergirl as a series regular playing winner or at least make an appearance in a future crossover. Yeah, me too. I would love that. I think Jeremy is fantastic. It was so nice seeing him back for three episodes last season. And it was very nice seeing him, especially back in the episode when Chris Wood came back. That 100th episode was fantastic. I loved it. And so I would love Jeremy to come back. I think if Supergirl continues going forward strongly and for at least like four more seasons or three more seasons, we will see Jeremy Jordan back. I doubt he'll be a series regular. However, I think it's more likely, like you said, he'll make an appearance in like a crossover or like a special episode. So yeah, that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.
Icy Road.